You think about it, the coronavirus crisis is changing so fast. Because the reality is reassured. It is deep breath time. My administration has also taken the most aggressive action in modern history to protect Americans from the coronavirus. The problem is that this is an evolving situation. Literally every day we learn a little bit more about it. Social distancing, and that's an aggressive measure that's taken to help contain an outbreak or slow its spread. Seattle has seen the virus spread to at least 70 patients. Take a look at the city's iconic Pike Place Market, normally bustling with tourists and shoppers on Thursday, virtually deserted. It's like a ghost town. The great shutdown of 2020 is underway. Game companies are reporting record sales since the pandemic started. That's $10.5 billion worldwide in April alone. As people have been forced indoors, um, usage has skyrocketed. This global gaming network is reporting a 20 to 40 percent surge in traffic on its websites and YouTube channels. Video games are the new social network. What happens, Pokey? When you fuck with me? A lot of people loved Among Us. It's literally the ultimate collaboration. Where it's like 10 people or 10 creators, 10 YouTubers, 10 streamers, 10 whatever, all play together and it's a mixture of all the world. Like anyone can play it. It was a hype time, that's for sure. It was a very hype time. been kind of interested in streaming probably for about five years i want to say i kind of dabbled with like console streaming uh, for a couple years but i never really took it anything more seriously than that during the pandemic i was like you know what i am going to actually take the plunge and get a webcam and you know upgrade my stuff get an actual mic i don't even have the same mic i started with i've already purchased a different one since then i had a uh like a small little like blue snowball one so i did that in january of this year and then a lot of my friends were there to help me get started and then it kind of just snowballed out of there until where it is now it's been a blast. I'm really glad I finally decided to do it. I wish I did it sooner. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> I think streaming became really popular during the pandemic because everyone was isolated. And streaming is something that you can do within the confines of your house, your apartment, or wherever you have your setup at. And I think with a lot of people being isolated, it was a way for them to reach out and socialize with people, to meet new people, and just talk to someone if they're alone. I, I'd be hard pressed to find anything else actually in media or anything that got more popular than streaming. I feel like that's probably the biggest rise of anything that had happened, ignoring like real world issues with like supply and demand and everything related to COVID. But like in terms of like a, a good change, I think streaming gained more traction than probably anything in the past 18 months. Whenever I hit affiliate on Twitch, it was kind of euphoric. It felt like I had crossed over like a challenge that a lot of people try to do. Like getting affiliate is 
it kind of gets you to a point where you're like, hey, I think I actually have something here that people care about. I saw a statistic recently that like 75% of all Twitch accounts or something average one viewer or less, which was like insane to me. Because if you go on Twitch at any time, you see a bunch of people streaming, but I never had thought about all the one streams and the zero streams and stuff like that. So I feel like just being able to be honored to be in that that spot to have affiliate like was humbling and hopefully someday I'll reach partner. I mean, if I got partner, that'd be cool. I'm doing it. I'm mainly just doing it that fun. But like in the back of my head, I'm like, if I got partner, that would be pretty cool. But that would that would be a long time from now if I ever hit that. It was eye opening too for people that don't understand Twitch. I was like, hey, this is like a like a signal of like, hey, this is like a thing I'm doing and it's like actually real now and like you can make money off of it and stuff. They're like, oh, OK, well, that's cool. <laughs> My advice for anyone that wants to get into streaming is just go into it with the right mindset. This isn't a get easy rich thing or become famous. I mean, that has happened to people. I mean, with any social media thing that can happen, but just kind of be a little realistic and just be humble with it. If you get big enough to make money, like don't walk all over your fans. These are people giving you money because like it's donations, like no one has to give you anything. I will think it end tomorrow. No one would ever have to care about it again. And that's it. So just be a nice person. I would say try to have some people in real life that you know that may be interested alongside you just to have like a nice foundation. All of the channels I've been associated with have all seen really good growth in the last couple months just because of how open and genuine people are. So as long as you're nice, or you put like a little bit of effort in your stream. You don't need the fanciest camera. You don't need the fanciest mic. You can just do a basic camera with a blank background. That's all you need. Don't try to focus on spending all this money on something that may not turn a profit. Just do it because you want to do it and then kind of just see where it goes from there. That's what I did. And so far it's been working. That's what I'd say. Just make sure you have the right mindset and then you should hopefully be good. I'm out of here, man. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, everyone. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks a bunch for coming. Thank you. Bye.